Hello, this is Kyle. Today I am responding to one of Bentham Vo's many claims that women are being actively oppressed by the conspiratorial organization known as the patriarchy. Well, that is, when they are not busy twirling their prominent mustaches, typing maidens to railroad tracks, engineering evil contraptions, and having lives, jobs, and families of their own to worry about. According to Ben in his Are Women Oppressed video, women make 76 cents for every dollar men make. This is correct, though this is not because of the evil men who will circumvent the free market economy and harm their reputations and companies just so female employees end up earning less than men. Rather it is because women tend to favor their lifestyles over economic gain. I'll do Ben one better and explain why this is. Men are more likely to engage in more time and energy consuming academic disciplines, work overtime move, and generally favor materialistic gain over health or satisfaction because they are expected as men to be economically successful. They often find this works for them because women tend to fawn over the insensitive officer while ostracizing and even mocking the emotionally available cab driver. This is echoed in Warren Farrell's The Myth of male power and excellent red, which addresses many of the misconceptions in society people, such as been swear by, and the harm it does to men and women alike. However, with such impartial, unbiased sources as the American Association of University Women and the Institute for Women's Policy Research, how could anyone, let alone self-loathing been here, come to the conclusion that women are blindly oppressed while men are privileged, without anything in between? For that matter, why doesn't Ben debate his critics, or ignore them, rather than just block them without warning? Unfortunately, this would require Ben to evaluate his beliefs' beliefs, and to evaluate one's beliefs, and then stand up to debate, one must think. Thinking is bad for Ben, because thinking gives Ben headaches. That's why Ben forces his cat to massage his head daily, especially after blocking an excessively reasonable commenter who put forth especially simple and digestible facts that make Ben's precious feminism look bad. After all, feminism is so self-evident and true that it cannot be questioned, and any dissenting voices must be censored without question. If facts state otherwise, all the worse for the facts.